regional initiative to help at-risk youth launched last year during the height of the pandemic. Now a year later, it shows promising results here locally. As Courtney Wheaton tells us live, it targets young people making their way through the juvenile court system. Courtney? Yeah, guys, this is literally an alternative to jail. I met one of them, and he's smart and creative. He just needed someone who cared. Meet Abdul and Vernon. They were paired together as a part of Abdul's probation last year through the Hamilton County Juvenile System and Youth Advocate Programs. It took for me to get into this program to realize that that wasn't what I really wanted to do. Like, I always, I always knew it, like, deep down, that's not what I wanted to do, but, like, I didn't really know what else to do. And, like, being in this program, it, it really opened my eyes. It's Vernon's job and passion to be there for teens like Abdul. Many of them are just a charge away from staying in the system through adulthood. I'm most proud of that he has retained a lot of the information that I've given him and exposed him to. I'm also proud of the fact that he sees himself now not just as a, a high school graduate, but a potential college graduate and definitely a business owner in the future. The neighborhood-based advocates are paid and spend at least 10 hours a week with their youth. These two live in Avondale, where teen violence is on the rise. My advocate, he, um, you know, he, he grew up in my neighborhood, so like he knows what I've been through. He knows what I go through every day. So he just uh, tries his best to help me in areas that he knows I need help in. So me, feel me, he always encouraged me to do better. Abdul has a job, volunteers regularly, and is now a leader in his community. He's now um, active in a youth sector of the Cincinnati for Hope, uh, Healthy Outcomes Through Prevention Efforts, and he's heading the youth sector. And with that, he's able to give back. He's able to actually practice some some prevention. It worked for me because, like, he showed me that he really cares. And the court is actively seeking more funding for this program to keep it going for years to come. Now, they said this year will be even better than last year because the pandemic has lifted so they can get really get into the community. In downtown Cincinnati, I'm Courtney Wheaton, Local 12 News. Making a big difference. Thanks, Courtney. The program started in Hamilton County in January of 2020. Right now, 14 children are in it. Eight successfully have completed it, and only one was detained again.